people I, I'm working with and the, we all guys are always have the list of the favorite one and the number one, number two, number three, number four. Of course, the first three positions of the list are the, definitely attached to beauty. Yeah. And then when they come and they meet uh, all of them, uh, normally the, the beauty that are on the pole position go down the list and come up the other one that is that, that woman that they found the chemistry, that she's really funny, intelligent, so easygoing, so pleasant to be with her, to talk with her. That woman is really a fascinating woman. And when we say these adjectives about a woman, we start not to look so much to the picture that is her face, right? So this is why the, the positions on the list change. And this is why I always fight that nobody have girlfriends or even fiancé, sometimes I listen to this catastrophic statement that I have a fiancé and they never came here. Because till you meet, nothing happened and you don't know who is who, right? I agree. That, that's how I it happens. And this, uh, this takes me right to, to the point that I would like to our conversation to also go is that in Ukraine, yes, we do have a lot of women that are, they could be top model, top 10, you know, <laughs> in the world. But we also have women that have a lot more to their beauty. Uh, like Alex just mentioned, you know, somebody who is pleasant to talk to, somebody who is feminine in terms of making you feel good and cared for, and also smart and intelligent and compassionate so and when you think that you know the person once again by their pictures because you have the image you think oh my gosh this, this woman is is gorgeous she must be you immediately assign her a lot of positive qualities where in fact she might have none of the qualities and mm -hmm. then the girl that may, maybe wasn't looking as as great on the pictures, you might discover that you have chemistry with her in the real life. And some Ukrainian women are very talented. They are both beautiful and smart and kind and educated and all of the above. But sometimes, uh, oftentimes, we do not see that when we do not have a common language. That is uh, one of the bigger problems that we have on international dating. Is exactly that. It doesn't matter how intelligent I am. If I cannot profess and declare what I know, how can someone give me value? Makes sense. So, yes. And of course, we, we tend to accept as reality what we see, but uh, what we see seldom is the reality, you know? And uh, the, the intelligent uh, is not to is not to confirm what we already know or what we like, is to understand that what is there is really what is there and not what we want to be there. And this is the problem that we men often do being online looking to these gorgeous pictures. We project on those pictures what we want her to be and we build this image of them and we come here and we already have a mindset. We already have a classified, analyzed, and we have already all the characteristics that she has in our mind. And we never met her. So, and then comes the fact that she, she may be completely different from all this castle that we built on the clouds about her because we could not speak with her before because we don't have the same language. So we build the wife of our dreams on the picture come here and find another person. Then, and this is, I believe, why it was our conversation today, is uh, where are the tricks that they have? Where are the, the nasty things that we call nasty that make us feel deceived and uh, lost the quest? But sometimes, many times, we lose the quest because we start the quest already defeated. Because we didn't start one-on-one -on -one with the other person. We start alone with who we know, when we know well who we are, and with the image and an idea projected on a human being 
6,000 kilometers away that we believe and we want her to be as we want her to be. And then we come and, oops, what happened? She's not what 